from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. We'll check in with Greg D in just a moment for a look at your forecast. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. We're learning new details about the Tampa father charged with shooting his two young children, killing one of them Monday night. New court records give us a look at what Hillsborough County deputies found during a search warrant at the Armature Gate townhomes. Inside the children's bedroom, they found four shell casings in the bunk bed where a five-year-old girl was sleeping. She was pronounced dead about an hour after the 911 call was made. On the bottom bunk where the eight-year-old boy slept, they found one shell casing. He's in critical condition. The children's father, Jermaine Bass, claims that he was attempting to remove the magazine from the gun when it accidentally went off. He's been charged with premeditated murder. Bass's next court date is set for tomorrow morning. Family, friends and neighbors will come together tonight to remember 15 year old Ethan Weiser. He was hit and killed last Friday morning on his way to a school bus stop. A candlelight vigil will be held tonight at 645 at the corner of Bel Air Road in South Haven in Clearwater. A celebration of life service will take place tomorrow afternoon at Gulf Coast Church in Largo. Pinellas County leaders will soon consider banning smoking on some popular beaches. County commissioners are looking at banning smoking cigarettes, filtered cigars and vaping on three county owned beaches, Fort DeSoto, Sand Key Park in Clearwater and Fred Howard Park in Tarpon Springs. The bans would be limited to the sand and dune areas and they would be enforced by park rangers. Fines could cost smokers $118. County leaders say cigarette butts are the number one item picked up during beach cleanups. There's some good news if your commute includes one of six Bay Area toll roads starting today and for the next six months, you could get a discount when you use your Sun Pass. The discount is good for toll roads operated by FDOT. Locally, those include the Sun Coast Parkway, Veterans Expressway, Sunshine Skyway Bridge, Pinellas Bayway, I-4 Connector, and Polk Parkway. You'll get a 20% discount with 40 transactions a month and a 25% discount with 80 transactions a month. Bad news for the Tampa Bay Rays. The team will be without all-star pitcher Shane McClanahan for at least two weeks. An MRI confirmed a problem with his throwing shoulder. He'll get a cortisone shot and could return after spending 15 days on the injured list. The Rays also put Brandon Lowe on the injured list with a triceps injury. Tomorrow, the Rays begin a stretch of 14 straight games against division opponents by hosting the Yankees at the Trop. All right, Greg D, for folks heading out to the trap, are they going to see some rain? Yeah, I think there'll be some pop-up thunderstorms, especially starting midday, really, into the afternoon. Pinellas County could see a downpour if you're crossing the bay on the bridges. There may be some rain out there as well. At least around the showers, temperatures will cool into the 80s before the rain will be back up into the low 90s and briefly see that heat index reach into the low triple digits. Rain chances highest as you expect them later in the afternoon. We're transitioning today to an offshore flow that will push a lot of the rain chances for the rest of the holiday weekend into the evening hours. That full holiday weekend forecast, it's in the ABC Action News app right now, Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV.